And I think it, it, it got to a point where it's, it started to bother me that, you know, no one was going to hear the songs and that there were just going to be these things that I continued to play in my living room, you know, and my girlfriend could hear them and the neighbors that live above me, you know, and, and uh, so I think out of necessity for that, I just started working on the record and, and it, you know, went through a lot of different stages and growing pains about trying to figure out how to do something that was more on me. The problem with Black Lung is like why I think it takes a long time is not because I'm I'm pining over the songs, but I think just because I I change my mind so much, you know, like I'm like, oh I want it to be a soul band. And then I go on tour and I'm like, oh, I just want to play in a dirty punk band and I have I have too I have too too many ambitions for it, I guess, and maybe a lack of focus. Just because you said so. I have a very clear idea of what I want stuff to sound like, you know, especially after spending so much time, like I say, me being on tour and writing these songs and knowing they're not going to end up being Alexa on Fire songs, I think, you know, I just hear them a certain way in my head and it's, it's cool to be able to, you know, sit down with a couple of guys that are just open to, open to that and just write, kind of write that song that I've been hearing for so long. I feel like everything that I've, I've done like is me. It's not like it's not like in Alexis. It's some character I'm playing or something like that. So I feel I put a lot of myself into that, and this is just something else. Obviously, I was I was nervous putting out the record at first. You know, I think especially just think it's useless and maybe you're not that good at playing guitar or singing. But in the end, I think it was just I wanted to get the songs out more than anything. And, and some of the guys that I like the most aren't very good singers or guitar players, so I don't think that matters. Alexis had been on the road for essentially like three years, relatively straight. We're just kind of burning the candle at both ends and I just wanted to do something dramatically different and step away from it. And I wasn't particularly happy and I think you can tell in the songs. It's, it's kind of like a dark sounding record and even if they're about something relatively upbeat, I think you can still hear it in the songs that I wasn't particularly the happiest person. This new record, I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm just hell-bent and focused on writing just a bunch of love songs and stuff that I think makes sense to me right now and, you know, will continue to make sense, you know, hopefully in five years and ten years from now. It's, it's, it seems like one day I, you know, I heard Sam Cooke for like the 500th time, but all of a sudden it made perfect sense to me. and. Yeah, I don't know. I've become completely obsessed with old soul music and 
And I think there's just a lot that's beautiful about how simple those songs are and, and you know, just writing songs about not something that's super introspective or, you know, topical, just writing songs about, you know, breaking up and falling in love. And I think that's, I don't know, I think that's cool. I feel like there's, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for an acoustic guitar that helps me write songs. And I don't know, still we found it. Yeah. Even if it's a piece of shit that costs a hundred dollars. for you. 